we had somebody uh, tape a question for you, actually. Oh, boy. Far and away, my favorite and most uncomfortable part of the taping with Blake Griffin was playing for him the video that Nikki Glazer sent me to play for him. Okay, my question for you is why are you funny? Because you are really funny and it's infuriating. And in the video, there's, you know, the normal part that they're expecting us to include on camera. And then she's like, pause here. And then the, the actual entertaining stuff comes after that. I also have another question. Um, is Kendall Jenner's but I guess you'll have to ask Blake or Nikki what it was. Just go like this. Uh, just go, mmm, and I'll know that it is. God, I hope I didn't do that. <laughs> That's hilarious. We wanted to profile Griffin because he had just signed with the Brooklyn Nets and also, as kind of a side hustle, has a growing media business and a stand-up comedy career. You've seen athletes be interviewed on TV and they're so bad that you think they're stupid, but it's not that we're stupid. Actually, football players are f***ing stupid. <laughs> Everybody kept saying like, oh, does like basketball help? Like, did it help you prepare for this? And I was just like, not even remotely, like in the least bit. The number one fear is public speaking. Comedy is just public speaking, but you have to make people laugh. It was very cool to see Blake kind of open up about some of his comedic endeavors and even tell us a joke or two. This is a bad one, but it's like the one, one I can read. I was watching this thing and I was trying to think of like what like vibe this lady gives off. I was like, oh, and she gives off the vibe that she leaves way too detailed Yelp reviews. Tom hates the Blake Griffin joke, by the way. Wah, wah, just like bombed. Could it have been a better joke? Maybe, but we kind of put him on the spot. Part of the BTS responsibilities, uh, we're supposed to talk to the guest after the shoot. I was like, roast Graham, you know, like, what do you got for us? Give us, give us something good. Tell him he's got like a receding hairline or something. See, I can't go with hairline receding jokes because I'm also receding. <laughs> um. He's terrible at basketball, which he is. Sixth grade C team, like, I hear it every single time. Need some tips because outside of sixth grade okay. C-team basketball, it's oh, gonna be the extent of my playing ability. Uh, every time. I thought a fun kind of random element we were able to throw into the show, one we weren't planning on, was pop a shot. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess we're going. We didn't even know that was there until we scouted the building where we wanted to do the interview the day before. And the second I saw pop a shot, I'm like, we gotta get Blake and Graham to do this. How are we doing? I don't know who's really winning. Close, right? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even close. I don't even know why we did that. I suck at everything. The story about his house getting broken into and being actually there when it was burglarized was pretty intense. So I rewind the cameras, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. I'm literally about to click my phone off, and I see three dudes in masks walk out of my kitchen and like walk towards the back door and I just like chills literally from the top of my, I will never forget, top of my head to, the, to my feet, just all the way down. And you got a, a dog after Yeah, that. so I got a home, home protection uh, German Shepherd. He was like a SWAT dog. He just puts the fear, <laughs> fear of God in people's eyes. Blake's obviously a huge star and you know, we figured he might not want to go out in public and get swarmed by fans. So it was very surprising when Blake offered up that he wanted to go out and shoot hoops with some kids. What's up guys? How you doing? You guys learning today? I like your jersey. Yeah, of course. Everybody sees Blake jump out of the car and they're like going crazy. And he actually played basketball with this like 12 year old kid who clearly like lost his mind. Imagine if like one of your all-time favorite athletes just shows up and is like, hey, you wanna like shoot hoops? That's insane. Blake seemed very authentic throughout our whole afternoon with him. However, I think the most authentic moment came when he was at the course. All right, let me see a step back. Let me see it. There you go. One more. I like that. And the kid was like draining the shots too. I was like, holy All right, let me see a 
behind the back or between the legs, side step, jumper. You got that? That's a core memory right there. Like, kid's gonna never forget that. Good work, man. Nice yeah, nice game. Appreciate it, man. Good luck to you. Keep hooping. Let me guard you one time. <laughs> All right, you get one off now. Here we go. Sorry, I couldn't let you score the first one. Nice to meet you, buddy.